A couple of days ago I was scrolling relentlessly looking for inspiration. It's a daily routine that takes effort, but I have to do it. When suddenly I came across this drawing of Julien Lancel, I was shocked by the amazing Carter's gesture, so I DM him about it. I was devastated. I discovered that to be good, I need to work my whole life. But then, while I was watching my fifth TV show, he sent me this website, and I had to try it. Lineofaction.com lets you train on figure posing. It's divided in categories, and you can choose on which topic you want to train. Then you have a quick survey on the type of models for your needs. You can also choose how much time you want to dedicate. To start to get some confidence, I'll go for the 30 minute one and see what comes out. The first impact was traumatic. I didn't realize I only had 30 seconds of time and had to draw not one, but two figures. I continued in panic for a while. My hand wasn't warmed up at all and the results weren't great. In one minute figures, I had a little more breathing space and I understood better how to move. Even if, to be honest, the small sides of the sketchbook didn't help me at all. I often had to overlap arms and legs of the models because of lack of space. And also because I have this bad habit of starting the first drawing in the middle and then finding myself managing three, four other figures around it. For this pose, for example, I didn't realize that I was supposed to have 5 minutes, so I go fast at first, only to end up with no great pose and still 4 minutes left. I look at the counter, two figures left. It's time to take things seriously. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Now I can finally use this old sketchbook for a noble purpose. The first drawing came out fabulous. Maybe it was the pose or the extra space, but I think this is my favorite so far. And now the last one of the first session. 10 minutes to finish it. When I saw the first photo, I immediately thought it wouldn't be easy. I've learned that the more elongated the body are, the easier it is to make mistakes. But somehow I managed to do it, and I even had time to draw the chiaroscuro. Now that I've warmed up, I will do another 30 minute session to compare it with the first one. The second time it was easier. I felt I had the situation under control. I noticed that standing poses are among the most complex because you have to find the line of action and understand which foot the weight rests on. Not an easy game.
men hang into the bar, which I hated at first. The more I went on, the more convinced I became. And in the end, it's one of my favorites. Finally, the last illustration. I changed a lot the position of the limbs because the pose never felt natural. Almost at the end, I realized that one leg was considerably shorter than the other. And uh, all in all, it's not that bad. Now the real question is, can you improve by doing this 30 minutes a day? I don't have an answer, but I have a challenge for me and you. Let's train 30 minutes a day for 10 days and then post the first day and the last one into the Discord group, link in the description. And if you want to see me doing the 30 days challenge, let's get to 60 likes. See you in the Discord and the comments, bye.